Usually whenever I make videos, I have them scripted out and laid out in this very big Google Doc or something, but I feel like for this video, I'm better off just kind of expressing my feelings about making content for this channel. Hey guys, it's Nessie and I know I'm a bit late to the milestone, but I felt like it to be a disservice not releasing a video. Um, acknowledging all the supports I've been getting on every single one of my videos. So I just want to say thank you for allowing me to hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. I, I literally don't even know what to say right now. I put a lot of effort into every single one of my videos and to see that I can kind of build an audience just doing what I, for the most part, enjoyed doing. Now, a lot of you guys might not know this, but I actually started my YouTube channel and game development journey in general as a result of a gap year I had to take between high school and college. I picked it up as a hobby and over the years it's really shown itself to be my dream job. Like I feel like I can and I also really want to do this for the rest of my life. Game development has always been this thing that I've wanted to do. Maybe not even make money from it, but it's just something that I've wanted to learn how to do. Um, when the opportunity to take a gap year came in, I figured I should probably just use this as a good time to kind of explore that aspect of whatever. It was like the first thing I ever taught myself without having to like learn from school or something. Which kind of means a lot to me because for the most part of like my academics, I haven't been the best student. So... To be able to kind of create something that I can be proud of and I can also show people and they can be proud of felt really nice. I don't know where I'm going with this. So later down the line, uh, during my gap year, I decided to start a YouTube channel. Uh, I, I'm going to admit that, yeah, I did fall into this idea that I had something new an original and it was just a matter of time before I become like super big on YouTube and obviously I got like the biggest reality check of my entire life and I don't know I just didn't let it discourage me and I just kind of accepted the challenge like yeah sure I don't mind figuring out YouTube it's no big deal and for the most part it was fun doing YouTube showing off my games on YouTube it was fun and I enjoyed doing it I first started off making devlogs and talking about this game uh, time shadow so one day i decided to uh, make a tutorial which was kind of like a big turning point on my channel it, it did really well it was like the first time a video had actually like blown up or something and it got a lot of views and i was like yeah sure then this is what i should be doing i should be making more youtube videos about tutorials and i also worked on like a bunch of videos that i just felt like they do well and yeah that kind of like became the focus of my channel it felt like i had to make a certain type of video or else you know and even after making it you can't even find yourself watching those videos because you know they're not for you it became less of kind of refining what i actually enjoy doing and felt like i just let the views kind of control what i do with my youtube channel and anytime i look back at those videos i just have this feeling of emptiness YouTube to me was supposed to be this archive where I can just showcase my games as well as my editing because I kind of also have a passion for making videos. But that hasn't been the case for all of my videos. Rest assured that starting from this video, every single video that would be on this channel would be a video that I had passion for. My biggest advice to anyone who is starting up a YouTube channel is be honest with yourself and the contents that you want to bring to the YouTube table. Make sure that every aspect of the video you should enjoy it. Yeah, just don't forget to have fun. Because once you start feeling drained when it comes to the idea of having to work on a particular video, it won't be very fun anymore. And it took me a really long time to kind of understand that or notice that and yeah
I have gotten into college so soon I'll be going back to school which is kind of contradictory to what I just said about being able to upload videos that I like because I'm not entirely sure how that will affect my upload schedule <laughs> I was about to say upload schedule <laughs> uh, I'm not entirely sure how that will affect me when it comes to making videos but hopefully not much at all and I should be able to make videos that will entertain you that I, I obviously would love making and thank you <laughs>